And small businesses, uh, small business loans, I should say, aren't just for companies. Independent contractors can also apply. Plus, if you're in a pinch, you can withdraw from your 401k without penalty. We have financial advisor Steve Buden joining us right now with more in today's financial focus. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Let's jump right into this. A lot of people have a lot of questions, so you're going to do your best to answer these questions. First, let's talk about the small business loan. So how um, can people who are independent contractors actually apply? What do they have to know? And what do they have to do? First thing they need to do is understand that there are all kinds of different programs out there. The one I'm going to talk about this morning is the payroll protection program. So what that does is it expands the definition of payroll to a modern economy. So if you're an independent contractor, like an Uber driver, for example, you can apply for some relief. Most importantly, this is all being run through the local banks and the national banks. So you'd need to set up a banking relationship, go talk to a banker and they could help guide you because there's different documents that are required based on how you file your taxes. Got it. Okay. Now I've heard a lot of different um, advisors say, do not touch your 401k. And we're talking now how you can do that and how uh, you might not get a penalty. So can you explain why you're suggesting that or why this might be an okay thing to do? Well, it's intended to keep people afloat while we're going through this virus. So if you're a business owner and you have employees, you could apply for relief. And as long as you keep your employees employed, those loans are forgivable. And it would be the same thing for independent contractor. Now, again, it's very important that you speak to a banker because how those forgivable provisions get implemented can really impact how your financial situation is because the loan can really just turn into a grant if you don't have to pay it back. All right, sounds good. And do you have any other advice for people? I know we've talked so many times about um, calling your credit card companies, your financial institutions, and trying to lower your interest rates. Is that still something that you think people should go out and do? Oh, absolutely. And I think some of the relief that's been uh, publicized is if you're an employee of a company, you're now able to take 401k withdrawals from your 401k penalty free. Now, potentially it could still be taxable if you're under 59 and a half, but the government is giving you different types of relief here where you can take a 401k withdrawal or you could even take a 401k loan up to 100% of your 401k balance. So a lot of these provisions are really intended to get people through the short term. Now, everybody's situation is their own and, and it's unique. So maybe sit down with a professional and see what your options are. But understand that there are many different options out there for people to take advantage of. All right, Steve, great advice. Thank you so much. We will check in with you again next sure. Monday. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. And thank you.